You had friends that were on holidays, but a lot of very close friends as a student, as a teacher, as a professor. Uh, one of the friends was Aung San Suu Kyi, who was really uh, in the early days an absolutely an inspiration to all of us. We used to carry her on World This Week, and it was just amazing. What was she like? I tell you, uh, this is what you wrote. I knew Suu Kyi as a fearless leader. And I felt very fortunate in knowing such a remarkable and brave person who tolerated awful harassment and prolonged incarceration to fight for the cause of democracy in Burma. Then what changed? Well, that's a, that's a puzzle to me because there was a change of personality uh, in the in in what happened. Um, first of all, she seemed to stand for the nation of Burma, but right. will not include Rohingyas who were residents of Burma for a very long time anyway. So there was a kind of discrimination in a way you couldn't find in, say, Mahatma Gandhi or Rolina or, or, or Tibor. So there was a, a kind of slight narrowness there. I think a more than slight narrowness. I think also the military played with her very powerfully and made it clear that they would they could carry out propaganda, which they did, which would make most Buddhists turn against uh, the Muslim Rohingyas so that once this propaganda is successful, if Aung San Suu Kyi said things in favor of Rohingyas, then she would lose not only support of the military, but also of the Buddhist general population. They played it very smartly. We tend to underestimate often the intelligence of the, yes. uh, the Nazi people. And in this case, the Burmese military is about the north, yes, you can get to. They managed to um, uh, produce a system whereby um, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi was really caught in a trap laid by the military. Right, right. Now, that was not the only thing. She remained powerful and she remained at least um, uh, uh, a heroically um, uh, daring character. Those but can I just interrupt? When you knew her, uh, she was like for all of us an inspiration to you. What kind of a person was she as a friend? Well, she was a student in Delhi University, so I knew her also then. She was a student in in Oxford. Uh, and uh, I knew her English husband, who was also very uh, uh, concerned with uh, uh, equity across the world. She was among very good people. Uh, right. And, uh, Big change, yeah. Uh, and then I think things gradually changed. The military decided that to get the husband uh, effectively separated from her would break her, which it nearly did. Uh, and also by planting this Buddhist versus Muslim Rohingya uh, yeah. no, story. Terribly sad. Sad change, yes, but yeah. let's hope. It's on, really. So yeah. I, 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 it's not to the credit of, of, of um, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi uh, that the military could play her on their on her on their finger, uh, and right. and and that's very unfortunate. 